Because you'll know YouTube. Trevor here, something or nothing, something a bit different, a bit exciting. We are winter hiking, international winter hiking in Romania. Two day hike with a, st a stay in a cabana up on the top of the mountain. Searching vampires. Vampire and bear hunting. Oh yes, grizzlies. <laughs> <laughs> Who have we got here? We've got Frank, you might remember from the Brecon Beacons, and Sean, and Den. Up you remember Den? And that's Vad, his brother, he's sort of our guide. He does a lot of this trekking. What mountain range? Buchej. Buchej. Yeah. Buchej Mountains. How high are we climbing today? 2,200. 2,200 meters? Yeah. 2,200 meters. It's cold. It's uh, about one degree, wouldn't it, with the car? Zero. Zero. Zero degrees. And we're, we're going up. Yeah, wish us luck. It's uh, steep, it's muddy. It's quite slippery. Got the hiking poles out. And we're right in the cloud. Right in all the snow. Bracing ourselves for minus six up the top but these walks are all really well marked out they say to make plenty of noise yo bear not that not calling the bears but to, to let them hear you Yogi. they'll avoid you as like i was saying yesterday they're just, they're just like cows aren't they yeah with pretty big teeth and claws <laughs> <laughs> Progress report at the moment, well, then, Sean. Nearly 45 minutes in, 1.2 miles, and uh, altitude is 3,964 feet. And what did we start at? Just over 3,000 feet, isn't it? So we're going up, yeah, and we're moving along in time and distance. <laughs> Cheers. So you get up here quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and you were saying my that you was... This is my home. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. You were saying you was here last week. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was very warm and yeah. yeah. Even in, at the night I, I slept on a shelter, like a shelter on the mountains. We will see it on the road, but it was very warm. But now look, it's snowing. Yeah. And, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. In one week. Yeah, one week. Just one night. <laughs> so this mostly come down last night, did it? Yeah. Yeah. It's getting a bit steeper now, but we're in good time at the moment, so we're keeping on because it's going to be steeper this afternoon. So, if we can make good progress this morning, then we've got more time to take breaks on the way up. Vadim seems to think that we're making good time, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem to get up there before the sun goes down. But it is a picture, something else. You right then, chaps? Yeah. Got a bit of signage going on, yeah? Yeah. I think for the top one. I think yeah, five hours clear. thirty. That's to the peak. Yeah. We might reach tomorrow, and I think it's three and a half hours to where. The no, that's not the cabana, is it? No, we're just before the peak. He said oh, about right. an hour before, so maybe four and a half Something hours. Like I think a refuge is different to the cabana, isn't it? Yeah. A refuge is like a shelter hut, I guess. Emergency shelter. So we're going up there now. 
<laughs> past us arrows. That's our mark. It's gonna get steep for a bit. That looks like a nice climb up through there. Yeah. It was just a warming, <laughs> so now it's starting to, to be more serious. <laughs> Kicking off now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's a lot of up, Frank. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a steep climb up here. Big bad little bear, this is Fast Leopard. You're receiving me over? Yeah, Fast Leopard, uh, a bit of bear can hear you here. Big bear receiving all of the message, yes, all good. <laughs> Big bear, big bear. <laughs> How are you doing? Fast, fast left. We're here now. Right, Dre. Hi. You, isn't it? That's a hike and a half, wasn't it? We did it. We got a steep bit to go now. Oh, you mean that wasn't the steep bit? No, we got steeper to come. So it's been a real tough morning climbing. It's just coming up to 12 o'clock. So we're gonna stop some food, hot drink, uh, chill. Where we need it. We weren't it. You stopping? No. Yeah. No, it's turn on, come on. Come on. Sausage and bread? See? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let me get a good fit on. It's like a McDonald's up on the mountains. That's it. <laughs> I'm going there. I'm carrying off up there. We need to be clear. Alright. So we got a good one. You can have some cheese on there as well. Yep. Mm. Yeah? Mm, dinner, so that's one, one in a second. Mm. No. Frank, dip right up. Tell us what happened, Frank. I put my cake down and the bloody thing went on down the hill! Oh my god! The is on skates, isn't it? I don't know what you've got hungry. <laughs> <laughs> put it down, three seconds, gone. Went off like a fell out of the gun, wasn't it? It better be good cake. Woo! Woo! You found my cake! Just don't drop again. Yay! Next to it to get some uh, perspective of the size. Yeah. That's all right, because I'm the one with the cured meat in my backpack. Fuck's <laughs> 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 sake. Hello! Don't come in and attack us! We got no more kids, so there's a track girl up above. Well, the, whatever those footprints are going that way, so I think going this way is out there. Good idea. I think it is the track. I think the track was over there going up. Maybe it was, yeah. I think we might be able to go back and it was um the wind up <clears throat> up that way. Uh oh. You're watching someone on the What about that? You're going backwards. What about that? Looks like a path there. Follow the pussy. We stick together making noise over here. Nothing? I think it's back there and up steeper. I'll go back then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we found it. Maybe this is why they, uh, they verb. Yeah. <laughs> Done it. One day, three years. Sean, just the well, facts and figures. According to Garmin, we've done just about four miles. Yeah. And elevation is 6,119 feet. Time-wise, we've been walking for nearly four hours. Taking the views then. You can see something there. What's that? About big stone, eh? Or trees? Yeah. Is that the thing we just walked past? Yeah. Yeah, 
So, about an hour and a half away from where we're going to stop for a cup of tea. What do we think? Yep, and then we got another hour on from there to the cabana. Yeah, snowing again. Right love in the cloud, don't we, Dan? I love it. Wait to get to the cabana and have a drink. No way! <laughs> yeah, let's keep moving. Come on, Frank. I'm coming. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. We're waiting for you. Move on, move on. Have I got the blue bit in the front? No, it's sort of to the side. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Go look the look the park. Cabana Malasti, Malaysia. So we're walking now on a bit of a it's a bit of a steady incline. It's a bit easier, but I always find it's easier if you're talking yeah. and walking and talking. So we start talking. And you take your mind off it. So this is unlike anything you've seen on Summer or Nothing. You know, the start of new era perhaps. I tell you it's a bit daunting, the idea, the prospect of it. I didn't sleep very well last night. I'm more nervous about the hike than I was the flight. But it's been a good climb. It's been amazing, beautiful. We're looking forward to getting to the cabana, having some hot food. Get hot soup. Oh. Woo. That's a summit or nothing opportunity, isn't it? Shall I? Yeah. I haven't got the breath at the minute. <laughs> Guess what we can see, Frank? You see the hut? Yeah. Way! Cup of tea! Cup of tea time. Cup of tea! Look at that. That's not our cabana. It's not where we're staying for the night. It's just where we're stopping for a cup of tea. Hello. Hello, welcome. Oh. <laughs> well, that's all right, isn't it? Mm, banana. Had a fresh enough to eat still, didn't they? Almost. <laughs> Get that under the armpits there's uh, ventilation zips. But yeah, I'm soaked. <laughs> My jumper wet. I've got other fresh jumpers to put on. The future is yes, coffee and some milk. <laughs> Feel the temperature change in, can't you? Yeah. Stepping out of there, the temperature's completely dropped now. Need to get moving quick. Cold. We've got about an hour, hour and a half walk down to the cabana, and uh, just just stop and take these views in for a minute. Right up in the clouds. Oh, that was nice. It's nipping that was nice, right wasn't now. it? Yeah. Oh. One and a half hour. To the cabana. Cabana. One and a half hour. So this is the valley, it's Genest, yeah. old, and we need to cross the, the mountains and go to, to Malayest Valley. Right, so we go over the other side of that. Yeah, this is the gl glacier. Glacier? Is that true? Yeah. Glacier Lake in the Glacier Valley. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cloud. Pero es como un cowboy. Hallo, Mr. Hallo, hallo. Genächt, die Wahl hat sie genächt. Well, it's clearing now, and it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful, the last sort of, since we've left that hut, isn't it? It's just cleared up, and it's just oh, magnificent. Plain of um, brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Chuckle brothers. Still. It's been a cracking day, unlike anything that I've done before. See you later. Bye. That's it. Oh, you make it look easy. You <laughs> <laughs> show off. We need drama, we need action. Amazing that sign posted, but just. It's always good if you're doing something like this to come with someone who, who knows the area. He's done this sort of hiking before. That's what I lack is the confidence in these places. But I've reached a point in my life where I can't let the fear put me off things, you know? <laughs> yeah, just go like, you know, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Sam and Nothing. Whoa! <laughs> we are in the show of camera. Do laugh. Why not? You laugh. Why not? It's nice to stay positive, you know? <laughs> They're saying take your time because it's steep. Yeah. It'll take like an hour and 40 minutes or so to get to the cabana. Yeah, no rush, no need to rush. Yeah. It's a really steep yeah. descent here. So we're taking it nice and steady. Oh, the view's opened up again. So now we're heading down to the cabana, final stretch. Yep. Sean's down to one hiking pole, just snapped his hiking pole coming down there. Not the best time for it to go either. No, still got one though. I extended it too much. Snapped the hiking pole thread off the end where it tightens up. Uh, so it'll go back in, but it probably won't tighten up. Tighten up. Nuisance. Is it a second highest point? Yeah, uh, what, in Romania? No, in... Uh, this area. This area, yeah. So we'll show you it's cold. Yeah. And it's about... 2,500 meters. Mm. Steep, isn't it? Yeah. There we are. The cabana. Oh, and it's still daylight. Panic not, Trevor, he did it. Ah, oh, day one, done. It was a slow, steady climb down there. Really steep, really slippery. Just take it nice and easy. We've made it. Nice to be out. 
once we get to the point one. Yeah. Where we... Oh. Oh, the dog's there. I see him now. Yeah. Hello. Is this your home? What a home. Lovely smell of the log fire as you walk in the door. I think we've got the place to ourselves, don't you? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Has that got a night vision on it? Yeah. Here we have some uh, soup. Mold wines, what? Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're really cold in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Very close. Keep your clothes. All oh, right, close. Keep yeah, yeah, because in the middle of the night it will be like very cold. And... Okay. Well, it's seven o'clock, and we're half seven. Half seven is it? Oh, it's a bit later. I've only had two hours of sleep last night, so I'm quite happy to just chill and doze. But it's going to be a long night. But at least we're not in a tent. That's what I keep saying. We've, We've got a fire at the moment. We've got some more wood to throw in. Five to nine. The last log is going on the fire. We just can't get it to catch. It's going to be a long night without that fire on. There's a Romanian, Placero means root, yeah. Intesis means don't take, and Yana says in winter, so don't take this root in the winter. To think, a month or two ago, I was worried about a scramble up Molsha board. This is a different kettle of fish entirely. Well, look at that. 